now pronounce you man and wife. What's the matter, Trish? It's so deserted, so out of the way. Mm, that's exactly how it should be for a honeymoon. Two of us alone, just each other for company. Yeah, but isn't this carrying it a bit far? I mean, I haven't seen a house around for miles. Don't tell me you're scared. It's not that. Mm, it's only one week. Don't worry. And you have me to protect you. For the groom to lift the bride over the threshold? I think we can skip that. Of course not. Tradition must be observed. Well, if you insist. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get unpacked first. Oh. 
I thought you came for this stuff. What are you staring at? Someone at the window. I don't see anyone. There was someone there, a woman. Well, there's no one there now. Maybe it was the light playing on the glass. It could play tricks on you that way. There was someone there, Vernon. It was my imagination. I never said it was your imagination. That's what you meant. Look, there is no one there now. Why don't we forget it? Hmm? I know what I saw. See? Nothing's here. Someone was here. Right here. There certainly couldn't have been. Vernon, I am not blind and I'm not entirely stupid. I distinctly saw someone standing there less than a minute ago. Okay. How is she? Old, young, black, white? I didn't see her features clearly, but I saw her. You saw a woman standing Yeah. Don't be patronizing, Vernon. I'm getting things. Someone was there for them. That was most satisfactory, Mrs. Kent. Thank you, Mr. Kent. Mm -hmm. It's nice to be appreciated. All right, what's next? <laughs> mm, I'll give you one guess. Mm, swimming. Mm -mm. Guess is, again. There's a lovely river at the side there. Actually, swimming was the last thing on my mind. I know, but it's too lovely a day to waste. I don't intend to waste it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get my suit. See why I chose here for a honeymoon? <laughs> Just us and nature. <laughs> <laughs> the babbling of the brook, oh. mm. singing of the birds. Just now. <laughs> Someone's coming. There's a pool further up, nice for swimming. Oh. And you can catch crayfish there too. I see. 
You strangers here? Yes. Passing through? Yes, we're spending a few days here. Where? The Mercer place. Oh God. Is something wrong? That place is haunted. All kinds of things happen there, even during the day. What kinds of things? People, noise. Even the hunters walk fast when they pass in that place. We don't believe in ghosts. Well, if you stay there tonight, you'll have enough time to believe in ghosts. I thought superstition stopped existing long ago. It's not superstition. Tell me about it. It's Mina. Take my foolish advice and get out of that place. Mina doesn't want people staying in the place. Look, I've paid for a week and I'm going to spend a week. Thanks for your advice. Vernon, you think who I saw was... Look, don't let that old man fool you with all that stupid Mina mumbo jumbo stuff. I don't know, Vernon, but suddenly I'm scared. Imagination get away with you, Trish. I heard her word and I swear it. That's all you need. <laughs> Have some juice. Mm. Oh, God, who the hell could that be? Anybody home? Okay. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'll go. Mm. What happened last night? Nothing. You didn't hear anything? <laughs> Not the thing. You didn't see anything? No. It's funny. It's really, really funny. <laughs> That's just superstition. Don't press your luck, eh? I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would come along. I'm Molly Saunders. I live a couple of miles down the road. Well, I'm Vernon Kent. This is my wife, Trisha. A pleasure. The pleasure is mine. 
I see you went fishing. You don't seem to have caught anything. <laughs> he had other things on his mind. <laughs> I brought you a pineapple cake. Ooh, thank you. That's very nice of you. I, I baked it myself. Oh, won't you come in? come and see some of my work. Yeah, sure. How about tomorrow evening? Uh, Molly just invited us tomorrow evening to look at some of her paintings. Well, I'm not really an artist person myself, but who knows? It might be fun. Say, when, Molly? When? Mm. Here we are. Two neighbors. Two neighbors. Uh, <laughs> Have you lived around here long, Molly? About ten years, off and on. Have you ever heard of anybody called uh, Mina? You heard of her, eh? Did you meet her as well? Well, I think so. <laughs> We're not taking it seriously, though. Mina was killed by old man Mercer about a year ago. And then, Mercer killed himself. You knew her? I saw her around off and on. She was young, pretty. She had a way of walking that had the whole village talking about her. Would you say she was about uh, my height? Yeah. Slim? Yeah. My complexion? How do you know so much about her? I saw her. You mean I saw her when we came in yesterday? There's been a lot of talk about people seeing her around. She was wearing a sort of a, a long nightie. That was how they buried her. You see, Vernon? It was her. Isn't there somebody who can do something about her? Well, there's an old man in the hills called Fukuraal. He has a lot of power. What kind of power? Supernatural power. He casts demons out of people. He sets haunted houses free. That sort of thing. They say he's descended from one of the most powerful high priests in Africa. Would you like to see him? <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> of course not. Okay. Well, thanks for the drink. I've got to get home now. I've got to put in a few hours' work before sun, um, sun goes down. Mm. I'll see you tomorrow. Sure. And I'll try to dig up what I can about Mina for you. Please. Okay. Well. She seems very enough. All artists are a bit crazy. 